So what is the biological terrain? So the biological terrain is really looking in depth to the microcellular environment in the human body, the nutrient-filled environment that bathes and nourishes the cells. And how do we do this? Well, we test for nutritional and vitamin optimization. We look at potential genetic predispositions which may inadvertently have a higher inflammatory markers in you, have a lower immune status. We look if there is a potential toxic exposure, such as what was mentioned by Dr. Horowitz and Dr. Niklaus, of the potential for heavy metal toxicities, and then how they influence acute and chronic diseases. The biological terrain closely monitors cellular environment to gather important information about an individual's cellular health. Appreciating the vital role a healthy biological terrain environment does, and by establishing and supporting an individual's overall state of health, we believe that we can improve vitality and well-being. So what do we look at? We look at nutritional status. Do you have optimal protein and albumin levels? Do you have optimal vitamin B levels, vitamin D levels? It's not just normal values. The normal value for vitamin D is above 30. The optimal value for us, what we believe, is above 60 to 80. We look at inflammatory markers so that we can tell is your condition related to inflammation versus something else. We look at sed rate and C-reactive protein and tumor necrosis alpha and C4A just to mention a few. Autoimmune markers such as ANA and rheumatoid factors and IgA status. Genetics such as human leukocyte antigen, DR4, which is associated with rheumatoid arthritis and HLA-B27, which is associated with ankylosing spondylitis, conditions that cause chronic pain. And my favorite acronym of all, the MTHFR, <laughs> or methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency. I knew you were thinking of that. <laughs> and celiac, and immune markers, which was mentioned uh, by Dr. Schwarzbach, the CD57 count can be very helpful in looking to see if this is a persistent infe infection. Your white blood cell count to see if, if one of the other co-infections has lowered it or raised it. And then natural killer cell profiles. So the C4A, and what I will only do is mention just a few of these. The C4A is the complement system. It helps the antibodies and other immune cells, the phagocytes, which kind of eat things, to clear the pathogens from the body. And the C4A is not specific to chronic Lyme, but it can be elevated in many types of infection, including other tick-borne diseases. C4A levels are also elevated in HIV AIDS and systemic, systemic lupus, but not in its healthy controls. The C4A marker for chronic Lyme disease has been shown to be elevated in those patients that suffer more from musculoskeletal symptoms versus those with neurological symptoms. And interesting is that then the response to treatment, we can often see a lowering of the C4A levels. Now, many people suffer from both musculoskeletal and neurological. And so some people will have lower C4A levels, and we can correlate that with their musculoskeletal symptoms, but sometimes their neurological symptoms don't change. And this is the uh, pathway, and I figured I'd just put this in anyway to confuse you um, and make me look smart, because then I can look like I actually understand this, but, but, but and I maybe do. Um, but essentially, what it is is that if you don't methylate your folic acid, it is less usable, and therefore can't add to detoxify your body. It also aids in the... Um, the production of neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and serotonin, and those people that have certain mutations. 
and have the inability to then functionally make enough of these neurotransmitters could suffer from higher anxiety and depression than the typical patient that does not have this mutation. So the MTHR gene provides instructions for making an enzyme, as I said, the methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. Methylation is a core process that occurs in all cells to help your body make biochemical conversions. The methylation process is responsible for cellular repair, synthesis of nucleic acids, production or repair of DNA and RNA, detoxification, and as was stated, neurotransmitter production, healthy immune system functions, formation of maturation of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelet production. The HLA is another marker, and it helps the immune system distinguish itself from proteins and that from foreign proteins. The complex is a white blood cell complex, B and D cells, and lymph vessel lining. And HLA-DR4 is found in patients with persistent symptoms even after three months of treatment because it's found to stimulate the production of an inflammatory protein, protein called interferon gamma, which is then found in rheumatoid arthritis.